Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from messages from Spirit Reading for October 2024 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Sagittarius. Let's see what we have for you for the month of October. These are mainly messages but we do combine with a tarot spread. So let's see what we have for you. The chariot, eyes on the prize, victory, triumph, success, overcoming obstacles, difficulties. Could be moving from A to B or travel is indicated as well. We have the knight of wands. Two of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, okay, in the immediate past we have the Six of Wands, immediate future we have the Six of Pentacles. Bottom two cards, supporting information, the Wheel of Fortune. I like that for you. This is your planet, Jupiter, with the Page of Wands. So, the Six of Wands. I mean, you've got a victory cards all over the place here. But the, the Six of Wands can be about victory, triumph, success winning if you've been competing for something here this will be a great energy of winning uh, getting recognized and noticed promoting yourself it can be very positive in terms of significant achievement a victory a triumph here but it can also be things like accolades awards recognition for a lot of you there's a money aspect to this I think that you, I mean, it's one of the promotion cards as well. So for some of you, it might well be the changes that you are, um, you have an opportunity to, to make a choice here. It could well be that you have an opportunity to uh, get a promotion in some way here, get greater recognition in some way, and maybe make greater financial success as well, which is driving this. The Nine of Pentacles is getting what you deserve, financial success, reaping the fruits of your labor. What you put time and energy into, the hard work is rewarded. It's one of the wealth cards of tarot. So this is getting the money that you want, likely. I think in the immediate past, it's bringing you to a crossroads. Because <laughs> I always kind of smile a little bit here. Um, sometimes the irony, because... As soon as you're about to leave, it looks like there's an offer to keep you. Uh, the Knight of Wands can be offers and opportunities coming in. Very good in terms of business, career, finances, but it's a powerful departure energy as well. So as is the Chariot, the Chariot can be about moving from A to B, but it's also one of the victory cards. But it might well be there is an opportunity here where you're saying to your existing company, listen, they pay me more money. I've been looking for a new job because I'm not getting everything that I want here. You know, sometimes there can also be significant achievements in things like, um, like I said, things like accolades. So educational qualifications, getting qualified in a particular area, area which automatically might give you the next level in terms of responsibility and pay, for example. But it might not be available in your current circumstances. So Whatever the Six of Wands is, there is a significant achievement here. And I feel that you want more money. I mean, it's either this is either linked to bringing in more money and you're departing. Or for others of you, you've got something, the significant achievement that you want, and you can't get the, the, the money in your current aspect, in your current workplace. So you've had to pursue other options externally. And there's a departure here. So... This can be about moving on from what was to what will be, moving from A to B, but there's victory and triumph and likely an increase in money here. But you're very satisfied with the money aspect here in terms of what you're moving to. The Two of Wands represents a choice, a choice between, it can be two opportunities are presented to you. It can also be a choice to stay or go. 
The message with the two of wands is don't let fear of the unknown stop you from making the right choice for you. We take our world in our own hands and we make choice about our future and we do the right thing for us. I mean, this is an empowered energy. We need empowerment to make this choice. So, and it's where there's growth and potential as well. Because I feel that there's a choice here because this could be to stay or go because it looks like there's a sweetened offer and it's likely from your current aspect or your current employer, but a little breadcrumb, a little enticement to stay likely. Oh, but we'll offer you this. I will match this. It can be a monetary offer of some kind. You know, there's a, a kind of feeling with this, with the Six of Pentacles. I mean, sometimes, you know, you wouldn't have gone through this whole rigmarole of, of, of pursuing other opportunities and potentially leaving had they just offered this to you. But this can also be that sense here of, of sometimes you might have gone through a situation where the, the company that you were at or are at has has been only giving you so much, only offering you so much. They've been very, uh, it can sometimes be a bit of a breadcrumb card, uh, the Six of Pentacles, where someone might, who hasn't wanted to really give, to give ground in some way, is, is having to, to try and keep you. Because there's a sense of, of balancing things in some way here. So, I mean, you have a choice here in terms of whether to now leave a current situation or take the increased offer that's likely available to you. I mean, Spirit's working through the situation here. I think that you're very clear there are two ones, but again, the, the page of ones is I'm going in this direction. That the Wheel of Fortune can be the energy of, of change, transmutable energy of endings and beginnings. It can be a kind of energy of... of a series of events or synchronicities unfolding that are pretty much guiding you to a new path. Uh, I feel certainly with the Page of Wands, you're very clear in terms of how you want to move forward. The Page of Wands is a new beginning energy. This is, I'm moving in this direction. I want to move in this direction and, and see where this leads. So I think regardless, you're, you're going to make the right choice for you in terms of whether you stay on the current path that you're on but it likely will be you. there is some level up here in terms of status, responsibility, and increase in money. This can be, let's do it then. You know, if there's change, if obstacles are removed, if you're feeling that there is some positive turning point in your current situation, then that can be the energy here of, okay, let's do it. But for others of you, it's aligning with a brand new path. I think that you choose ultimately in terms of what you want is what I see for you here. Let's pull your messages from Spirit. What do we have for Sagittarius? It's an exciting new path and it's the one that holds the greatest potential for you for growth, um, for your own growth, something that you would be more passionate about, something that would connect to your heart and soul. This is... You, I think that you're very clear in terms of which way you want to go here. Message from Spirit. Thank you for Sagittarius. Message from Spirit for Sagittarius. Thank you. October. We have forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform, yeah. This is what I see for you here. I feel that there has been an energy where I feel your current workplace hasn't wanted to give. And it's almost like the changes that you are bringing about, it's making them give more to keep you. <coughs> And it's whether you can say, okay, bygones and stay with that company or you feel it's time for a fresh new path. A fresh new adventure. The choice is yours. 
Let's see what we have for you as a spirit animal card. I'm going to choose from this deck because they're a little large. What do we have for Sagittarius? Thank you. Nice. Peacock, vibrancy. You were born to shine and inspire. Practice humility to avoid jealousy. Be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognise your brilliance. The peacock, I always say in my readings, the peacock is connected with the word magnificence. So it's certainly a time for you to shine. This is a time for, you know, showing the world what you're made of kind of energy. Um, this is a lovely, lovely abundant energy here. And I think it's a path that's going to allow you to do that. To come into your own, so to speak. Let's pull you a destiny message. What do we have for Sagittarius October? Thank you. Relaxation. The picture shows the harvest moon. When you receive this card, relax. All is well. No need to strive or push to get ahead. Beneath the surface of life, everything is gently propelling you in the right direction. You can lay down your burdens and simply unwind. Slow down and allow calmness to fill you. When you relax and relinquish control, your intuition expands and you create the space for your spirit guardians to help you. Additionally, it's vastly easier to heal and have positive outcomes in life when you are rested and not filled with worry and a need to control outcomes. Lie back, stretch out, and watch the magic unfold in your life. I mean, this is lovely because I feel that there is an energy here. I think that you're going to have a choice to make here, Sagittarius. And it looks certainly in this situation that you might be choosing a clear path here. If you need to take a step back to think about this, this is just relax, take a break, take some time out. But I think that that path will be very clear in that energy or as you take that time. Time to think maybe. Let me pull you a final message from heaven, however, whatever heaven means to you. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius to finish off this reading for October. Changes can bring you new life and energy. We will hold your hand. Number 25. Stand up for what you know is right. We are supporting you, number 27. Nice. And I see you doing that here. Sagittarius, that's what I have for you as your messages from Spirit for October 2024. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month as always and I'll see you next time.